Hey crew, it's Ben, and I'm back on another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out another remix of the Northmen, uh, the Richmond North of Richmond. This is Mercules. We're going to dive in and see what's up. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours, for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's, it's a damn shame. shame. What the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. So many years of ignoring the truth. So many tears on the go in this booth. I'm drinking this beer and I'm doing these drugs just to numb all this pain. I don't know what to do. It's not just me, only you and I know that I've been so in debt that I'm suicidal. I'm so used to being used that I don't use my head and instead I just use a bottle. But in so many hours, we'll never get back to. We, we talk about all of that all the time, right? Like, all of those issues all the time. You will not find happiness in a bottle. It is a, not a destination. <clears throat> it is not a, a target. You can't hit it. It is a decision that you make to be happy. It is a decision that you make to pick that bottle up. And people don't like to hear that. Personal responsibility is a big thing we talk about on this channel. It really is. It's not just me, only. And depression, like we talk about depression all the time, too, and how... I mean, we're not even gonna get in. You and I know that I've been so in debt that I'm suicidal. I'm so used to being used that I don't use my head and instead I just use a bottle. But in so many hours, we'll never get back just to collect this check that they turn into tax. Maybe next time our kids show up to class, you teach them the truth and they learn about that. We carry this country, it's hurting our backs. The government fucks us, we're working for scraps. No matter what, we're determined to crash. Let's purge for a purpose and earn it all back. Don't make you a pro Purge for a purpose and earn it all back. Ooh, boy, this is feeling like a setup again. I must have let you down, plus these countries are run by some pedophiles. That is true. Like, we have a problem. We do. We, we, we got a problem. We got a problem. All right, so. <clears throat> we talk an awful lot on this channel about personal responsibility and how you have rights, right? You have certain inalienable rights among these life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You have the right to free speech, to freedom to practice your religion, to freely express yourself however you choose. You have the right to bear whatever arms that you feel are necessary to serve in the defense of your country against an aggressive opponent of the human kind. You have the right to not have, uh, incriminate yourself and not be forced to uh, say things that would put you in prison. You have the right to not have a military come in to live in your house and take over you. You have all of these rights that are enumerated and enforced and set out, but not limited by a document that we live by. The, the, the Constitution of the United States is something that we live by. It is a document that we have enumerated certain rights because they occurred to us, and it, it occurred to us as well that the government may try to take them. In order to ensure those rights, a government was constituted from the consent of the governed. We and our ancestors said, we are going to make this thing and we are going to hold to this thing. And we're going to hold responsible the people who we elect along the way. We have decided that what we're going to do instead of that is we're just going to vote by whoever's popular or whatever letter is behind their name. And we're just going to do what somebody else tells us to do and we're not going to pay any attention. We have decided in the name of convenience and entertainment and all of the fun things that we like to do instead of being informed that we're not going to pay attention to the going-ons in our country and the going-ons in the world because that, that doesn't concern us. We don't see it on a day-to-day -day basis. The reason we have a representative elected, democratically elected government, right? We're not a democracy. We are a constitutional republic. But we have democratically elected officials. And the reason why is so that we can hold them accountable. The reason why Congress is elected every two years is so that you can vote them out. If they are not doing the things that they are supposed to be doing, then it is your responsibility, not just something you can do, it is something that you must do to remove them. 
The first course of action is to remove them through political means. But in order to do that, you have to break through the stupid. There is a lot of stupid out there. A, a massive wall of stupid and I don't care and it doesn't concern me and taxation is theft and communism can work. That is all this wall of stupid. Governments are necessary because man is evil. Man's desire is to rule over another man. Unless you subjugate that in yourself, that is your natural desire. You want to be on top. And because you want to be on top, you will do whatever you think you can get away with to be on top. If you don't believe that, look at these corporations. They let you know. We have to be responsible. We have to decide, hey, you know what? Things are pretty fucky right now. But maybe when this election cycle comes up, I'll know what the fuck I'm voting for. And if it doesn't go the way that I want it to go, if the people around me vote against what I think is a, a terrible idea, or for what I think is a terrible idea, then it's time to, to move somewhere else. Now, when you're dealing with presidents, it's a little harder, right? But on the congressional and the Senate level, if you live in Nancy Pelosi's district and they vote to reelect Nancy Pelosi and you're like, that's really dumb, then move. If you think that about Ted Cruz and they vote to reelect Ted Cruz, move. I know it's hard sometimes. I know it takes planning. I say that all the time because it is true. Start planning to move. You want to surround yourself more with people who agree with you. That's the whole point of having states, so that you can move. If you don't agree with the laws in Louisiana, move to Mississippi, or Arkansas, or Texas. All of these are valuable options. <clears throat> and I'm getting off on a rant, because personal responsibility is the key that is missing in this. Everybody wants to blame somebody else for the problems that we have. The problem is, when's the last time you voted? Now, the, the crew, yeah, y'all probably are a little bit more tuned in than most people. That's just a fact of life. If you stick around through my rants, then you're probably a little bit more intelligent than the wall of stupid. But for the general person... They have people that go and vote and don't even know the names of the candidates they vote for. They have zero idea what their platform is. They have no idea even what the responsibilities of that person would be. You have people that think that the president sets laws in place. No, he can still approve them and he can be overridden. Congress and the Senate make the laws. The judiciary decides on the constitutionality of those laws. The executive just puts things into place that have been decided. He says, yes, make this happen this way. We put too much faith in other people without trying to at least hold on to as much responsibility as we can. We need to be more responsible. Quit blaming the government for us being lazy. And I know, I went off on a rant, and again, as always, it is never about the artist. This is just things we talk about, that's why we do reaction videos. To man it all back, don't make you a promise and let you down, plus these countries are run by some pedophiles, and me I refuse to just... But that is a truth too, and we need to fire up some wood chippers or something. Get around while they're teaching our children this shit out loud, they told us to shut up and wear a mask, just take the oh. vaccine to take care of that, on oh. this highway to hell, I've been there and back, I can't fit all this shit in a paragraph. And see, like... I said it before and I'll say it again, like here in my area, locally, it was all right. We didn't have those issues. Right down the road, they did. Local is the thing to focus on. Be somewhere's local. Like I'm talking about five miles difference. Made all the difference in whether or not you had to be covered or not. Telling my soul, working all day, overtime hours. For bullshit pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's, it's a damn shame. shame. What, what the world got, got to do for people like me and people like you. Wish I could just wake up and 
may not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. Supply us the drugs that are killing our kids And we do nothing about it, it is what it is I'm sorry, I'm seriously sick of this shit Bruh, bruh, bruh that, that phrase right there, it is what it is, right? That is a trauma coping response If you say that most of the time It is because you have trauma in your past It is what it is Is a trauma coping response Because you get used to the thought that I can't change things when you get beat as a kid, it puts it in your head that you can't make a difference. For some reason. I don't know why. But that, that that's something that we got to get out of us, right? And another one is this whole, well, this happened to me and I turned out all right. We got to get that shit out of us too because none of us turned out all right. See, that's what I'm talking about. Personal responsibility right there. You don't see, like you look around, you see the area and you're like, bro. These people are stupid. They move. Like, I know it's easier to say than it is to do. Trust me, I live next door to stupid. I'm trying to find my own way out of here. Because I live next to some stupid. Like, I've been praying for this dude for a hot minute. And it ain't helping. So, I get that it's not easy. But Merck just told you the formula right there. <laughs> yeah, right. You're like, is. I'm sorry, I'm seriously sick of this shit. I just packed up and moved. Now I live in a stick. Bam. Right there. And I'm going to clue you in on something, just in case you want some of my more melanated brethren out there. We don't care what color you are. As long as you come with intelligence, nobody in the sticks gives a shit what color you are. Like, for real. Like, I say nobody, I never mean nobody, because there are some dummies. Don't get that twisted. There are some enclaves of idiocy out there, right? But for the most part, if they mess with you, then we step up. Like, it, that, that happens out here. So, just so you know, the sticks is an option for you, even if you are more melanated. Like, a lot of us just don't care. We really don't. Don't come out here slinging dope, though. Because that that is something we care about. Thanks to Big Pharma, we get withdrawn. And the whole world is hooked on its fentanyl. Be careful that you might be dead tomorrow. Yeah, we're working on Bro, they, back, they mixing that shit and everything, bro. Ten years ago, you hadn't heard of it, and now it is killing people left and right. Do you think there ain't some people involved in that? Way at their beck and call. If they saw this, they tell you that this is a stretch. But why are we letting them get in our heads? How is their veterans living in tents? Because the cycle is proven to bring us to death. Like, what is the reason we waited this long to admit this is all population control? Take one of... <laughs> We're gonna get one of these numbers really close to zero. And they, they just they just offloaded a cargo plane full of mosquitoes to get that number closer to zero. This is the reason we waited this long to admit this is all population control. Take one look around and shit's taking its toll, but I'm saying fuck it, I'm breaking them all. I promise I'm not being passive aggressive. I don't do passive aggressive. Like this is one of my catchphrases. I don't do passive aggressive. I do aggressive aggressive. I'm actually fed up. I'm passing a message. I'm trying to say that they have an agenda. We just ignore all the facts that they give us. Indigenous women go missing and what we're supposed to ignore it and sit on our thumbs. It's not by the left or the right or the middle. I'm going to war. I will not keep it civil. Fuck that. Working all day, overtime hours. Bullshit pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to. For people like me and people like you wish I could just wake up and it not be true. But it is. Oh, it is. If you or someone you know is struggling, here's the suicide prevention hotline 1 800 suicide. Y'all, make sure you get back over to Mercury's page, give him a like, share, and a sub, throw him a comment, let him know that you appreciate what he is doing. I sure do. Like, I'm trying to do these Richmond remixes where it is only with original lyrics, right? I'm not trying to do anybody that's just redoing the original, like, that's karaoke. This is somebody that's got something to say. He's somebody out here trying to express to us his vision of what this song brought into his mind. And I'm just here trying to amplify it and maybe give my opinion every once in a while 
these are giving me a lot to talk about because we have a lot of issues in our country and in our surrounding countries that really need to be addressed. But almost all of them break down to personal responsibility for me, for you, for your neighbors, for your city. Like, if your neighborhood refuses to do whatever it is, what are they going to do? Especially in a, a to a friendly place. Right? Like here, like, there's a lot of heat in this neighborhood, y'all. It's a little neighborhood. It's not country country, right? Like, I'm just on the edge of the sticks. But, like, there's a lot of heat in this neighborhood. And what they gonna do? If they start rolling through here with cars, then people gonna start making stands. Like, that's just how it's gonna happen. So that ain't gonna happen here. Right? They're going to do that in places where they have these laws. That they, they don't have to worry about that reaction. Like That's where they're going to worry about you. Everybody thinks that when they roll out, it's going to be this big, they're going to take over the whole country. They ain't doing that. They don't need to do that. They're going to take over the cities. They're going to take over the cities because shut down trade. The people who are in the know are going to book it to the boondocks. And if you're smart, you will just stay there for about seven years. If you're not smart... They'll just wait for you to come to them. They're not going to come hunt you down. You're not going to be able to engage in guerrilla warfare. They're going to fortify. They may expand territory a little bit, but for the most part, they're not going to worry about you. They have a, another agenda to go on. So it is what it is. That is a whole different get me banned from YouTube rant. I better not get into it. <clears throat> this was great. It got me talking. Mercules, I thank you very much for this thing. He is dropping wisdom. Like all of these people are dropping wisdom. Everybody is dropping something to let you know, hey, something is not right in our system. When something's not right in the system, the debug comes along and fixes it. And if we don't figure out how to reprogram it, somebody else is going to. I want a good program running. Like my timeline, we all win. That's how I work. This is my timeline. And if you want to join me on it, you're welcome to. Y'all make sure y'all get back to Mercules' page. Give him a like, share, and a sub. Throw him a comment. Let him know you appreciate what he's doing. Because I sure do. To the crew. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me. And I am praying for you every single day. Until next time, you're perfect, whole, and complete just the way that you are. And I love you. This has been Pitt State. Peace.